Hey everyone, Tony here from nitroplanes.com. So today we'll give you guys a sneak peek of what's new to come from Dynam. Uh, Dynam sent us a sample of the SBOC 342. Uh, if you guys haven't seen our Facebook page already, uh, you know, it's been a lot of uh, talk going on about this uh, model right here. Pretty much this one has a 49 inch wingspan. It's got a 32, I believe, 3220 size uh, motor and it has a 600 kV motor and it's powered by a four cell 2200 milliamp battery, which to me is probably the perfect combination for this plane. This size plane, it helps keep the weight down, but at the same time, it's powerful enough. The prop is a 13 by six prop. It's got four nine gram servos all the way around for this sample unit. And from what I heard, I have been communicating with Dynam and the first batch is gonna come with four nine gram servos all the way around, but the second batch is gonna come with the mini size servos for the elevator and rudder back here. Cause uh, for some of you 3D guys out there, as you guys already know, nine gram servos are a little too small for this plane. So, but for, you know, regular flying around, sports flying, just a few uh, loops here and there, the nine gram servos will be fine. But if you guys are looking at something more performance, like going fast, snapping it, rolling it, or trying to hover, or something with a little bit more authority out of it, then you would have to use a more high torque servos, like powerful nine gram servos or even mini size servos, which is perfect for this plane. Uh, I kind of missed the ESC part. So the ESC is a Dtrim 50 amp ESC with a three amp BC built in, which is perfect enough for these four servos in here. Give you guys a uh, quick look inside of this uh, SBOC. You can see plenty of space inside if you guys want to use different size battery. Right now I have my four cell 2200 Skylight Pro Pack uh, mounted in the very rear section of the battery compartment. Actually, I have it past the, uh, the battery compartment just because this plane is a little bit nose heavy uh, for once, guys. It's nose heavy, so, but you can see, not sure you guys can see it right up in here, but the battery compartment goes way up in here. So if you guys use maybe standard size or even mini size servos in the tail section, you can use your battery any, and it should fit a lot of size batteries, guys. So you can fit anywhere up in here. I got my receiver mounted right up in here. I'm using my Spectrum uh, six channel receiver. I got the nine gram servos back here and you have two more on each aileron or one on each aileron down here. Just can see it's a very gorgeous looking plane and there's a vent hole in the rear and there's a little scoop and all the air comes in here, all the air forces through the uh, inside and it just keeps everything nice and cool. I'm using my own JR transmitter, so let me plug it in and show you guys uh, how this plane looks in the sky. All right guys, going for a takeoff. <laughs> Taking off vertical, half the throttle, you guys can see plenty of power. Snap it around real quick, come back on down. The plane's very agile. The plane, however, did come with a stock uh, Dynam transmitter, but what I found about the transmitter it was is that the transmitter that the Dynam included was limiting the, the, the travel on these uh, 3D planes. So I went ahead and I swapped out to my uh, JR transmitter just to get more control for uh, a plane like this. Fly by Antonio flying his uh, Dynam pits over there. Right now I'm cruising at a qu quarter throttle, you guys can see, excellent flies nice and slow and the plane is still a little bit on the nose heavy side uh, so let me go on up do a vertical climb out come back around keep it away from the sun for you guys snap it around tons of power with this plane so if you guys ever get to any trouble you can just punch the throttle in get out of it just like I did earlier. <laughs> so as you guys already know, I'm not that great of a 3D pilot. I'm more of just a regular sports guy. I like to fly around, have fun, do some rolls here and there. So you guys won't see any uh, anything too crazy with this SBOC that you guys would see on the video, you know, the other models out there. So right now I'm just giving you guys a uh, quick preview of how this plane flies. Choosing on the back around. Just try to do a hover. You guys can see there. Need to work on it a little bit more, but you can see. Hovers pretty well. Punching on out, you can see the punch out. Vertical is very good with this plane, so the power setup that Dynam included is just, you know, perfect for this plane. Try to do some formation flying with Antonio over there. Do a left hand turn.
touch on full throttle. You can see it rolls super quick. I'll probably have my uh, servo throws a little too much, but it's always better to have too much throw than too little throw with these uh, performance planes. Good thing there's no wind today at the field, so which is kind of rare here in Southern California. Try to do some uh, rolling loops or circles, whatever you guys want to call it. Not really a true rolling circle. Still need to work on that, so back to the sim after this to get down the rolling circles. Let's cruise the line over here, a little vertical. Stall it. Come back around. A little flyby. Do a touch and go. So let's go for a landing. Man's pretty good. You just pretty much cut the throttle and it just pops right on in. So let me see, let me bring it back around. So you guys just saw the flight uh, preview or the quick uh, preview of this new uh, SPOC from Dynam. Excellent flying plane. Let me get the plane back right here real quick for you guys. So that's why I'm looking, oh, there we go. Tracks nice and good on the ground too. So here we go. Oh, a little too fast, let me stop it. So you guys just saw the flight preview once again. Excellent flying plane. Right now I'm just babying this plane because it's just a gorgeous model and I don't really want to crash it by pushing it too much. Uh, the wings are nice and strong. I can pretty much go full throttle. And, you know, the wings take it. It does flex a little bit, but not a lot at all because there is a nice carbon spar that goes about past halfway on the wings. So it's nice and strong, nice and sturdy. The battery right now, I have my volt meter. So let me check. I flew for a little bit over six minutes. So my battery right now comes in at about 3.78. Uh, volts per cell so I could probably go for about another two minutes which is not bad for a four cell 2200 uh, if I wanted I probably could use a, a smaller battery just to make it uh, more lightweight and it will help out with my CG problem that I'm having right now and also it just flies 3D better because like you guys all know the lighter the plane the better it will fly so you can see you can even use a bigger battery if you get if you guys are trying to fly sport and whatnot tons of space up here once again so I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, flight uh, preview of the sample uh, SPOC from Dynam. Hope you guys enjoyed the review. And also guys, this plane right here is just a sample from Dynam, so the production one could vary uh, a tad bit. So make sure you check out our website on nitroplanes.com for all the latest update on what's included and what's not, because things could change from this video. So there you go guys, thanks for watching.